Now that we're all working from home, or many of us are as a result of coronavirus, it's interesting to look at uh, what uh, types of expenses you may be able to claim for working from home. And really these expenses fall in two or three different categories. So first of all, if you have a business uh, and you are using some of your things at home for business, you may be able to reclaim a portion of the VAT that relates to your business use. This can also apply if you have to uh, extend your property or, or do work to your property. If it's, if it's specifically going to be used for business purposes or if it's partially going to be used for business purposes, you may be able to reclaim some of the VAT. Another area that people will be able to claim for is if you're an employee, you can claim now, it's, it's, it's just recently increased this year to £6 per week without any further information required. If you are working from home and it's because your employer has told you to work from home, um, the issue uh, there is obviously you can't do it voluntarily because if you voluntarily want to work from home you can't claim anything. And if you are self-employed you could use this simplified claiming process which is based on the number of hours that you, can, you work at home and you can claim an allowance based on that as being self-employed for working from home. Equally you could apportion your home costs adding together all of the costs that relate to working from home and, uh, and, and maybe a basic claim on that. Some people create uh, rental type agreements for those sort of things and um, so that they can claim based on a, a regular amount, based on their average amount of costs that they incur for things like light and heat and stuff like that. Have to be a little bit careful with phone because that should really be based on business calls that have been made. Although of course many people do have mobile contracts which are entirely in the name of the business so that's absolutely fine. The third area is um, capital allowances. Obviously, if you if you bought equipment to use at home, and it is your business, or even if it's even if you work for somebody else, they may be able to claim capital allowances for things that you have to use. So, for example, lots of people will have been buying various equipment in order to uh, use the internet and stuff like that. They may have needed a new computer, they may have needed a new webcam, uh, or even a microphone, that sort of stuff. There, there, there could be various things that they may have needed to buy for business purposes in order to work successfully 